Hey fellow horror fans and various and sundry creeps of all shapes and sizes who might be watching. It's once again time for Creepy Cheapies, also known as Dr. Lady's Affordable Mask Pick of the Week with me, Ernest Hemingway. Now uh, tonight, got a little creation from Zagoni for you. Now Zagoni, as you may know, formerly Be Something Studios, been around since approximately the Jurassic Age, uh, making great masks since, uh, well, since the 1970s, anyway, and uh, at any rate, tonight's Zagoni slash Be Something creation is called Man Wolf. That's right, kind of like uh, Wolfman if you were dyslexic when you typed it out, you see. And Man Wolf has been in production for a long, long time. I've had one of these guys for a million years, by which I mean since sometime in the 80s. And, uh, and I've still got uh, the Man Wolf, as you can see. I've got it right here. This isn't done with uh, expensive CGI or green screening or anything. I'm actually reacting and interacting with the actual three-dimensional mask in the same shot with myself. So this is like old-fashioned movie magic right here. Uh, Man Wolf has been available forever. I think he's been uh, discontinued and then reintroduced uh, in more recent years, but uh, he is available as of tonight's videotaping. Uh, I don't know if he'll be available when you see this. I certainly hope so, because he's a great mask. He's very scary and evil and angry and agitated and fierce and ferocious looking, which makes him a good bet for children's parties. No, makes him a good bet for haunted houses and haunted hayrides and haunted corn mazes and haunted what have you. And he's got, uh, well, he was one of the first masks, maybe the first mask I ever saw that had these little tiny pin teeth growing out of his gums in addition to his regular wolfman teeth. And I always like the fact that uh, they sort of brush the fur forward onto the face. That's kind of an unusual effect. And he's got this little strip of black fur going around the bottom, which works really well when somebody's wearing it because it's sort of, um, well, it makes the edge of the mask look logical uh, because there's fur there. It sort of fools your eye enough that it's kind of easy to costume because of that little bit of fur running around it. As you can see, the man wolf is displayed in the Dr. Lady household on an ordinary, okay, sub-ordinary because it's a little bit beat and battered and mangled and worn out and dirty, but a slightly beat up styrofoam wig head which I have just painted black and then glued a little wooden disc to the bottom from uh, the craft department at Mulwort to keep it from falling over, give it a nice weighted base there. Uh, and the man wolf is just a latex mask, uh, front mask, face mask, rather, with uh, fur back. It does have a little bit of elastic at the bottom to make it a, a good fit when you're wearing it. And uh, that is kind of the, the be something slash Zagoni style, is uh, the f latex face fur back, or fabric back sometimes. But uh, always especially like this guy. He's really scary and evil looking. Hey, he made the front page of a nearby newspaper one year because we used him on a uh, full-size figure at Horror Hotel and the reporters came and he ended up uh, getting his picture in the paper but I always liked him because he's there's something natural looking about him you know um, he's he's not too extreme for a werewolf he just he looks like what a werewolf might really look like or he could be used as a sort of uh, even a Mr. Hyde I guess type character or he always looked to me uh, too like one of the one of the animal people from the island of Dr. Moreau, you know that story? Or if you happen to be a wine connoisseur, the island of Dr. Merlot. And, um, no, I never touch this stuff myself, I know, but uh, I recommend Man Wolf. He sells for around $45. You can find him at various mask sources online or at Halloween at your favorite costume shop. Pick one up. Well, pay for it, but pick one up to add to your collection, the fabulous Zagoni Man Wolf, a Dr. Lady favorite for a generation now. Thank you, and good heavens. And one more thing to remember, a sandwich is a sandwich, but a Man Wolf is a mask.